I want to continue illustrating EPS setups with this example that we uh, in the last audio video uh, we set up a 24-hour simulation with a one-hour increment we provided tank data uh, this had a uh, starting level of 200 a max level of 220 and a minimum level of 180 uh, what we want to illustrate now are two the two other types of data the uh, uh, demand pattern data and the control switch data uh, to illustrate that we have put in a demand pattern data and these are all type 1 demands where the demand uh, pattern is such that the global factor is 1 until hour 8 and then it becomes 1.5 now this is a factor that multiplies all the demands so the demands are all multiplied by 1.5 from hour 8 to hour 16 and then 0.5 so we have three periods a normal demand period of 8 hours a a peak demand period of eight hours and a slack demand period of eight hours. Now further to illustrate the fourth type of data, the control switch data, we're going to control this pump off the tank level. And what we'll do is we'll turn the pump off on whenever the level drops down below 185 and turn it off when it gets up above 215. The setup here is under other data, control switches, and here we are, we can go over and look at this. We entered Pump 1 is, we can select on or off, but we put on when the tank is below 185 and it's off when it goes above 215. So that sets up the uh, scenario that we want. Now we've run the analysis and we can look at results. Uh, and let's look at the tank action. Uh, and we can look at that in full screen. Uh, initially the pump is, is uh, on and it's pumping filling the tank and when it reaches the level of around 15 feet or 215 the head the pump kicks off and the demand then drains the tank down at this point the pump comes back on and starts filling again at this point the demands are go up to a factor of 1.5 so even with the pump on the uh, uh, tank level is dropping until the uh, uh, we reach a point where the demands drop to 0.5. But anyhow, this pattern goes on, and these uh, vertices indicate that either the pump has come on or the demand pattern has changed. Uh, so this illustrates the, the uh, uh, four types of data that we use for EPS. System data, tank data, demand pattern data under setups and defaults, and control switch data.